Hey guys, I decided to do something a little bit different. Instead of reviewing another movie, why not a comic book? Well, guess you will know that I am a big fan of Batman. Well, you know. Now I just got done reading Batman Earth One. Now, excuse me if I call it Year One by accident. They're kind of similar, but in my opinion, I think Batman Earth One does a better job. Now, I'm a big fan of Batman Year One too. I read that comic way before I read this one, and I've seen the movie. It's pretty awesome, but this one acts as if it's a movie already. It takes artistic liberties. It changes the characters a little bit. Alfred's a veteran and he's got a disability. It's very different from the regular Alfred that we are all used to. Now the first page you see Batman jumping rooftop to rooftop and he fails. He fails at being Batman. This Batman isn't Batman yet. At least the Batman that we know. And it focuses on that. It takes a realistic approach without going so realistic to where we're bored by it. You know, too realistic to where it doesn't have that fantastical element. It still has that fantastical element, but it still keeps a very realistic look on it. It says you just can't train, put on a bat suit, and become Batman. There's more to it than that. And Alfred explains this to Batman, and I think it's a great approach. Alfred is a really good and useful part. Instead of him just being a butler, he's actually a guardian. And I think the, the approach that they take on having Alfred be his guardian very realistic. He's a guardian, but he doesn't want to be called one, so he just says, I'm your butler. I think it's great. I think it works. And there's a little twist when you read into it and you see what um, Alfred's disability is. Now, I'm not going to spoil it, but when you see it, it's like, wow, that is different from any incarnation I've seen of Alfred. But different's good, especially when you want to revamp and like, Give some freshness to the character. I am not a big fan of totally ripping out the origins and like doing something completely different. But it's different, yet familiar. It's different in a cool way. The Penguin isn't really the Penguin like in the comic books. Now in the comic books, I seriously could not stand the Penguin. Like at all. I thought the Penguin was stupid. I just didn't think it would work. They take him and they make it work. He's the mayor of Gotham City. That works. He's a corrupt mayor in Gotham City. That really works. Now at first I was looking at it and I was like, is this really the Penguin? Even though I don't like the character, I want to see if they stay faithful to it. Because if you approach the, the character in a certain way, Penguin can work. And this version of the Penguin works. At first he's all civilized and he's in the public. He's like, hey, I'm Mayor Cobblepot. Nice to see you. But when he's alone and he's in his own element and you see the birds and you see him doing his criminal activities away from the media and he's eating and he's just disgusting because you know he's eating and he's being a slob and he got fat and rich off of the people of Gotham for years being their mayor and then you see it you're like yeah that's the penguin and it made me like this version of the penguin I thought it was really good the origin oh my god this is the best origin ever. I'm not going to be too, well, too spoilers, but I'm going to tell you this because it happens pretty uh, much right away. But they take an approach that I think is the best way to do it. They exit the movie theater and little Bruce Wayne is a spoiled brat. He's a rich kid. He's not all good, you know, Bruce Wayne, poor Bruce Wayne that, you know, got his parents kid. He's originally a spoiled brat. Now what happens is the movie theater shuts down. I know this is a little bit of a spoiler, but bear with me. You, I will give you a reason to, want to read this. Movie shuts down. And he's like, I want to go see it. We're seeing it tonight. Rushes out of the movie theater, bumps into some guy. And he's like, hey, kid, watch where you're going. And he says, I don't have to listen to you. My parents are the richest people in town. They have so much money. They're probably having, you know, hundreds of dollar bills just stuffed in their pockets, you know. They own this city. Then the freaking crook's just like, you're that Wayne kid, aren't you? And now because of Bruce, they're a target. It's his fault. And I think that really works in the Batman mythos. If Batman is using this guilt to drive him and motivate him to be the Batman. And at first, Bruce is not ready. 
He's falling off of buildings. He's a sucky Batman. He is kind of what any of us, even if we know martial arts, which I know martial arts, and I can tell you right now, if I were to put on a Batman costume, this shit would probably happen. He gets the shit beat out of him. He just freaking fails. And he gets up and he's patched up and Alfred's like, you're not Batman anymore. I'm sorry, that's from the <laughs> Nolan movie. You're not ready to be the Batman. You're just putting on the bloody costume and prattling around. Okay, that's my English accent, sorry. But basically he says, you're just putting on a Batman a, uh, costume, a useless cape, and you think you can just go and fight crime? You're not ready. You need to be willing to get down on the level of the scum and villainy of Gotham. You have to be on the same level as Gotham. And I love this pep talk. It is the best freaking scene in the entire book. Buy this book, read it. Stop watching me <laughs> rant and rant, well, not rant at all. I just love this book. Stop. Stop watching me praise this comic book. Just go and buy it. If you got an iPhone, download the iBooks and download this awesome thing. That's where I read it from. But the thing, I love it so much. I have uh, an ebook, but I want to buy it so I can hold it in my hands. That's how much I am praising this. I want to actually get a physical copy. Usually when I buy comic books, I just keep them on my phone. I get the digital copies. But this is such a great comic book. I want it in my hands so I can flip through and show my friends and like, this is Batman. Or at least this is how you develop Batman. I love how Jim and Batman's <laughs> freaking relationship starts off. <laughs> uh, you'll get it once you read it. I give Batman Earth One Five out of five stars. Please give me some comments. What did you think about Batman Earth 1? Like, comment, and subscribe. Because I'm Batman. Seriously, Christian. That's how you do a Batman voice. Not someone with throat cancer. Tune in next time. Same batch place. Same batch. <laughs> that was too ridiculous. I can't believe I'm a grown man. <laughs> Makeshift Batman costume. Because I'm the hero that YouTube deserves. But not the one it really needs. Something like that. Really? Hey, I ran this voice by out to my friends and they loved it. <laughs> Alright, let's see.